This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse 4, and it reads, The sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold. Therefore shall he beg in harvest and have nothing. Kala layam ala hayanawa yahawa bahashem yahawashai bahashem rakaha kordash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who teach well and rule well, who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akim, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect. Pushing this truth at risk of their own lives for the four corners of the earth. And to the Akwath listening, listening and learning. Shalom. It's your brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin camp. He wrote another lesson. And we just get right into we just get right into it. You know what I mean? Right, you gotta stay on the job, man. You gotta stay on the works. You gotta gotta stay working, stay grinded. Right? Proverbs 20, verse 4. The sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold. The sluggard, the lazy. Right? By reason of the cold. Or it's too cold. Scriptures say in season, out of season. Therefore shall he beg and harvest and have nothing. Right? And what's the harvest when Yahawashai comes back, man? Right? If you're not doing this work, what does the scripture say? <clears throat> and the Lord comes back. Right? You're through, man. The scripture say you'll say, I never knew you. Let's get that. Right? You gotta do this work in sincerity and in truth. Matthew 7, verse 23. Matthew 20, Matthew 7, verse 21. Not every, red letter. Yeah, I wish I said this. Our Lord. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven, right? The will of my Father. What is the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai? To do this work. To keep the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to the best of your ability. Right? Scriptures say, a hearer, not a hearer only, but a doer. Let's get that. in James right can't sit on this knowledge James 1 verse 23 <clears throat> James 1 verse 22 and it reads but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves, right? So you can't just be, you, you can't just hear this word and not do, you can't just hear this word and sit on it. Right? Hearing only, you know? It's not, t t t t t just knowing you're Israelite, right? That's not going to cut it, man. Verse 23, for if any, for if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man, right? So if you hear this word and you're not doing the work, you are likened unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass, right? Looking in the mirror. For he beholdeth himself, right? You see yourself, you see your reflection, and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was, right? So as soon as you leave that mirror, you forget what, you forget what manner of man you were, you forget what you looked like. Right? Got to be on fire for this truth. Right? And seeing all these prophecies pop off, if you're, if, if you're in the spirit of, uh, if you're in that lackadaisical spirit, man, you're in the wrong spirit. Seeing these things pop off is, 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 is it, it, it's supposed to be lighting a fire on you to speak. Right, not every man's a prophet, right? Scriptures say each man has their gift, right? But you're supposed to figure out what gift you have, what lane you're in, and and and, and run with it, man. Right. 
right? In this truth. Right? If you're going to bring water to the camp, you're bringing water to the camp. If you're a sister and you can sew and you make garments, you're going to, you're going to sew and make garments. If you're going to hold a sign, you're going to hold a sign. Right? Body believer, you're going to come to camp. If you know this truth, if you know this word, this truth, this knowledge, and you're not coming to a camp. Right? That's some lukewarm thing, man. You know what I mean? Scriptures say, Neither cold nor hot. Right? There's no in the middle. Revelation 3. Verse 15. And it reads. Red letter. I know thy works that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. Right? <laughs> you gotta be hot for this thing. Or nothing at all man. There's no in between. Lukewarm. So then because thou art lukewarm, right, in between, in the middle, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Right, and this is red letter. Our Lord said this, man. Right? Most is not dealing, Yahweh, Yahweh is not dealing with the lukewarm. Right? Matthew 7 Verse 21. Verse 22. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Right? And Mosai is not deep. Listen, if you're in this thing and you're not you're not sincere. Right? Most I's not dealing with that, man. Right? Most I's not dealing with that. You got to be uh, all in. All in. Ecclesiastes 10. Ecclesiastes 10 verse 18. By much slothfulness the building decayeth. Right? The building decayeth. It's like an under a house. This truth is like an under a house. And you, and you don't do the maintenance. You don't do the upkeep. The shingles start to fall off. The pipe's starting to rot now. Right? And through idleness of the hands, the house droppeth through, right? Your, your ceiling falls in. Right? It's like an under this truth, man. You gotta, you gotta be steadfast in this truth. If you're not doing the work, you're not in these scriptures. Right? Right? You're, you're, not, you're, you're, you're not sharp. Right? Right? Steadfast in the works, man. Right? Steadfast in the works. Right? O off camera as well. On camera and off camera. Right, when the cameras are off, guess what, what, what brothers in this truth are doing? Reading, studying, reading, studying, praying. Right, and if they're apt to teach, they're, 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 they're watching, right? Watching, and then blowing the trumpet. Sirach 51. Verse 30. And it reads, work your work betimes, and in his time he will give you your reward. Right? So you got to, you got to, uh, he that endureth until the end. Right? There's no time off. There's no vacation. There's no sick days. Like in Esau's plantation, Esau's work. Right? Scripture says, the, the Lord finds so doing. Right? So if the, when the Lord comes, you're supposed to be still working.
granted at the time of trouble date Jacob's trouble will be in full bloom right right brothers will be as pilgrims right but you're supposed to be trimming your lamps right up right Matthew 24 Matthew 24 verse 44 therefore red letter therefore be ye also ready for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh right now are we ready by staying steadfast in this truth man right right contributing to the body right doing the work who then is a who then is a faithful and wise servant servant whom his lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season here's the point blessed is that servant whom his lord when he cometh shall find so doing right so when the lord comes he, he, he he's going to be saying when the lord comes you're going to be like okay with the money i gave you to trade where it at did you multiply what up? Right? Luke 19. Did you do the work? Luke 19. Luke 19 parable of money usage Luke 19 verse 12 he said therefore red letter a certain noble man is a parable went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return that's Yahweh Shai and he called his ten servants right those doing the work and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them occupy till I come right occupy means work strong G Four two three one. Strong's G forty two thirty one. Pragma tu am I. Pragma tu am I. Right, to be occupied in anything, to carry on business. Right, the business of our father. Right, work. So we're supposed to be working till Yahweh Shai comes back. Man. Right. But his citizens hated him and sent a message after him, saying, We will not have this man to reign over us. That's the two-thirds. And it came to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be calling to him, to whom he had given the money. Right? That's this truth. The money is this truth. This knowledge, this wisdom, this understanding. Right? That he might know how much every man had gained by trading. Right? And you're supposed to go out there and spit this truth. Speak it. Right? Bid them to the marriage. Then came the first saying, Lord, that pound hath gained ten pounds. Right. That's the fruit. Hath gained ten pounds. That's his fruit of his labors. Right. And he said unto him, well, well, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a very little, have thou authority over ten cities. Right. The kingdom. And the second came saying, Lord, that pound hath gained five pounds. And he said, likewise to him, be thou also, also over five cities. Right. These were, these, were, these, were the men, these were men doing the work. Trading about their father's business and another came saying Lord behold here is thy pound which I have kept laid up on, in a napkin right and those that those, these are them that have the knowledge of this truth and do nothing with it man they sit on the knowledge for I fear thee because thou art an austere man thou takest up that thou layest not down and reapest thou that did that that salakia and reapest that thou didst not sow and he saith and he say, and he saith unto him, Out of thy own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knewest that I was an austere man, taking up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore then gavest not thou my money into the bank, that at my coming I might have required mine own with usury? Right, so you're supposed to do this work, man. Not supposed to sit on this knowledge. And he said unto them that stood by, Take from him. 
the pound and give it to him that hath ten pounds. And they said unto him, Lord, he hath ten pounds. For I say unto you, that unto every one which hath shall be given, and for him that hath not, even that he hath shall be taken away from him. But those mine enemies which which would not that I should reign over them, right, you two thirds, you scoffers, that's not his name, it doesn't mean that, right? Bring hither and slay them before me, right? The most I is not dealing with that man. Right? So you gotta do this work, right? Work out your own salvation in fear and trembling. Right? Fear and trembling of who? Yahweh wa Yahweh Shai. Right? I think that's it on that. Let me see here. Let me see here. Luke 2 verse 49. And he said unto me, this was uh, young Yahweh Shai to, 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 to his parents Joseph and Mary around, the, around when he was 12 years old. It's when Joseph and Mary were looking for him. Right? How is it, how is it that, that Salaki, how is it that ye sought me? Will ye not know that I must be about my father's business? Right? So we're supposed to be about our father's business, man. Work it. Right? Doing the work. Speaking to myself first and foremost. Right? We're supposed to be working steadfast in this. On fire. It's rock 38. Mark 38, verse 24. Mark 38, verse 24. The wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure. Right, so you can't be concerned. You can't be consumed. Right, it says here cometh by opportunity of leisure. Right, you're not working all the time in Esau's. You can't, you, you have to make time for this truth. This truth comes first and foremost. It has to be first. Everything else you make time for. Salaki, that was a slip of a tongue. You're not making time for this truth. You, 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 the truth comes first. You make time for everything else. And he that hath little business shall become wise, right? Little business in what? In Esau's world, man. Right, granted, we got to use the world as not abusing it. We got to work. We got to punch a clock. We do, right? But this truth comes first. How can he how can he get wisdom that holdeth the plow and that glorieth in the gold, that driveth oxen, and is occupied in their labors, and whose talk is of bullocks, right? How can you how can you get wisdom in this truth if you're talking about the stock market and and and, and, and the and the and the and the cubicle Esau cubicle work workplace gossip? And, and, and you're just occupied in, in, in punching the clock. He giveth his mind to make furrows and is diligent to give the kind father, right? He giveth his mind to what? Esau's work, Esau's employment. Gotta get this bag. Pills, pills, pills. Gotta punch this clock. Verse 27. So every carpenter and workmaster that laboreth night and day, and they that cut and grave seals, and are diligent to make a great variety, right? Esau's work system. I'm a carpenter. I'm a house builder, right? I did 60 hours this week, right? And watch to finish a work. The smith also sitting by the anul and considering the iron work, the vapor of the fire wasteth his flesh, and he fighteth with the heat of the furnace, the noise of the hammer, and the annual is ever in his ears, right? Work, thinking about work. He's at home, he's thinking about the office, and the gossip, and the work, and his work wife, or her work husband. 
and his eyes look still upon the pattern or the thing that he maketh, right? He's thinking about what he's on the assembly line. He's on the he's on Esau's assembly line. He's thinking about the the, the assembly line. He setteth his mind to finish his work and watches to polish it perfectly. So doeth the potter sitting at his work and turning the wheel about with his feet, who is always carefully set at his work and maketh all his work by number, right? Esau's work. He fashioneth the clay of his arm, Salakia. He fashioneth the clay with his arm and boweth down his strength before his feet. He applieth himself to let over it, and he is diligent to make clean the furnace, diligent in Esau's work. All these trust to their hands, and everyone is wise in his work, work, Esau's work. Without, without these, Salakia, verse 32, Without these cannot a city be inhabited, and they shall not dwell where they will, nor go up and down. They shall not be sought for in public council, nor sit in, in the high congregation. They shall not sit on the judge's seat, nor understand the sentence of judgment, right? Because they're, 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 not, they're not occupied in, 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 in this law statute. They're not, they're not occupied in this knowledge, this wisdom, this understanding. They cannot declare justice and judgment, and they shall not be found where parables are spoken. Right? They shall not be found where parables are spoken, man. Right? Where this truth is. Right? And that's two-thirds of our people out here, man. Chasing the bag. But they will maintain the state of the world. Right? Esau's world. Esau's kingdom. The state of the world. I gotta go to work. I gotta punch this clock. I gotta do my job. And all their desire is in the work of their craft, right? All their desire is in the bag, the clock punching, right? Scripture say you can't serve you can't serve two 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 masters. Either you love the one and hate the other. You can't serve money and mammon. Let's get that. I don't want to butcher it. This truth comes first. Matthew 6, verse 24. And it reads, No man can serve two masters, for either you'll hate the one and love the other. Right? You're going to love one and hate the other, man. This truth comes first, man. Everything else is, is, everything else is, 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 is after. Or else he would hold to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve the Most High and Mammon. Say pray it out, pray it out, Sisi. Kwame Ashurvala. Wa. Abad, Baba, Shalom.